Homes destroyed, people displaced after a massive fire at a New Albany complex last night. Good evening, I'm John Bowles. And I'm Myra Ansari. The people who are now without a home return today to salvage their belongings, still processing a very scary escape from the flames. We have news reporter Alina Noakes has more. It's a terrifying thought for anyone who lives in a multi-story building. What do you do when a fire breaks out? For one Kingsville apartment resident who lives in the second story, the answer to that became perfectly clear. I looked down there, I've seen that bush many a times, and so I went ahead and jumped. Mike Roberts considers himself a lucky man. There's no doubt that, that the Lord was with me. Wednesday night, he woke up from a deep sleep to smoke creeping into his apartment from a light switch. Beyond his front door, just smoke and flames he couldn't get past. When I opened that front door, that's when it really hit me, because I knew if, I, if that balcony had fire on it, that, that it was going to be real trouble. But it didn't, and it would end up being the only thing getting him out of trouble. When I first stepped over the balcony, I'm like, man, I don't know if I should do this, but the smoke got so bad that I didn't, after that, I didn't even think about it. I'm like, I've got to do this. So he jumped, a split-second decision that would save his life. Roberts bed. walked away with 13 stitches from a bush that softened his fall, just grateful to be alive. It hasn't totally hit me yet. Once I shown up, uh, they had a backpack with a lot of my stuff in it that I needed. So the firemen did get that out. Um, I can replace everything else. I'm just glad that, that I got out of there. Roberts is just one of several residents now displaced. New Albany Fire says eight of the 16 units in the building were damaged. Some by fire, others by water. There's a lot of water damage in there. And some of the ceilings come down but it doesn't look like my apartment burned at all. So hopefully I'll be able to salvage something. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. The American Red Cross has been on site since Wednesday night when that fire first started. They're now helping those displaced residents find food, water, and of course, some permanent housing. Reporting from New Albany, Alina Noakes, Wake News.